Hey gang, it's Michelle. So we're looking at day two. It's uh, about <clears throat> 9.30 in the morning. And, well, I was able to get up and wash my own hair. And I'm not out in the shower yet, not till tomorrow, but able to clean up just fine, able to go to the bathroom just fine. Um, in the middle of the night, I did wake up, I don't know, it was about 4 o'clock in the morning, maybe 3, with um, severe cramping in my quad area and that was because simply my big ice pack had gone hot and I was laying on that instead of the bed so I think that had a lot to do with it <clears throat> the uh, there are certain movements that cause extreme pain um, sitting upright seems to work out well with my legs out straight is even better um, if I try to swing my leg over any kind of like sideways motion, then it is excruciatingly tense cramping that goes throughout the entire quad and down uh, right beside my knee area and into the calf. And that is extremely uncomfortable and I almost stiffens immediately and I have to kind of get it to where... I can straighten it out. I'm learning. I'm learning how to get around these issues. So, day two of sacroiliac joint fusion. I will be uh, 24 hours done in about an hour or so. So, I feel like I'm getting around like really well with um, some crutches and my walker. I'm still not allowed to lift anything at all. Um not really supposed to bend or stoop I have been able to bend over to pick some things that I dropped and that's not been a problem really um, I'm tiptoeing it more on one foot 50% weight bearing on the one foot um, but pretty much I'm I feel like I'm on target and doing well I think it's just keeping up on the meds and definitely the muscle relaxers keeping the ice on um, my legs have gotten so very muscular from the running prior to the surgery and I don't know if that is helping me be better or if that is what's causing all of the spasms but of course I knew I was in for the spasms I have spasms anyway on the upside the rest of my body feels great I don't know if that's from the extra muscle relaxers and pain pills or if that's just, you know, because some of the impinging is gone because my butt area where I had so many problems before where I felt like there was a jagged knife stuck in there for so many years, that's gone. You know, I don't feel that at all. I feel the post-surgical pain there. But my main issue is the cramping that comes when the emotion is put in a certain direction. So things are going well. And I'm sure I'll be taking some more videos here soon because I really want to keep up on this with you guys um, to let you know how iFuse really is because I know so many people are considering it or don't know about it. And um, I can't wait to see my films when I get those taken to show I can show you my three uh, pins that are in there so that, you know, it can't even really be called pins because they're so large. But I can't wait to show everybody those pictures, and I want to see them too, to know what's inside me and to know that, you know, I'm actually doing this good, that I'm not having to lay in my bed. Now, I did try to turn over. I thought maybe sleeping on my belly would help. Oh, my gosh, I couldn't even get halfway there. It was horrible. It was horrible. The minute I tried to tilt my pelvis, it was like over with. No way. It's going to take a while. You know, they put those things in and they also put bone mesh inside them and to help the bone stimulate to actually fuse inside there. But it is inside the bone, all three of them. And um, those things ain't breaking if I fall. My bone around it might, but those things ain't breaking when I, if I were to fall. I feel pretty sturdy as long as I use my equipment. And I can even stand a few moments without equipment. Of course, I put my majority of my weight on <clears throat> my good leg and um, we go from there so I really hope everybody's learning from my experiences and not to be so afraid of it 
Uh, I've heard day three is the worst, so we'll see when day three comes, if it is indeed the worst or if it's okay. So, but that's what I've been told. Days three and four are really bad, and then it gets better until about week three to four. And I think week three is like when I'm able to get off of all the equipment, and I think that's probably why a lot of people have a lot more pain. But I'm happy to use the equipment as long as I need to, but I'm anxious to be able to go into the pool, to take baths, to go into the pool and begin swimming and stretching and PT and getting this body back on the road to the way that I need it to be. Um, my husband's got some health issues that he needs addressed and I really want to get him fixed as well. And obviously while I'm laid up, we're not able to attend to those things and he's not doing too great. So love y'all. Thanks for watching and have a great day.